Well, as the weather warms up and flowers start to bloom, allergy season, it's starting to become a major issue once again. Pretty soon, many in our region will start feeling the uncomfortable feels of a scratchy throat, stuffy nose, and watery eyes. Erie News Now's Tom Kowalski has more. If you suffer from allergies, it's likely you already start feeling the usual symptoms. A ticklish throat, stuffy nose, or watery eyes. According to our own Dakota Hunter, it seems this could be just beginning. Well, this pollen season likely could be pretty uh, nasty. And uh, I mean, you know, we are a pretty high pollen area around here when it comes to trees and obviously with the dust and, and mold pollen. So again, you know, uh, the pollens already are running pretty moderate when it comes to the tree pollen because the trees are starting to bud now. And according to experts, due to climate change, pollen output is likely to get worse over time. From what I've seen, like the projections, they do say that that, you know, as the years go on, it is going to be worse and worse in terms of how much pollen is released into the air. A lot of climate change experts saying that that's the reason that there's more pollen being released every year. So definitely the projections are showing that it's going to be worse as the years go on. Pharmacist Sierra Bodner says there's plenty of good over-the-counter options to fight allergies, but she recommends avoiding one brand specifically. Steering away from Benadryl use as an allergy medication, I think is important just because Although it does, it is an antihistamine and it is technically for allergies, it can make you extremely drowsy and it's not really something you can take one of and it lasts you. It only lasts like four to six hours. The Flonase is honestly probably the most effective, but you know, not everyone likes to use the nasal spray. So if you're going for a tablet or um, something easier, then I would say usually Zyrtec. Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.